In this video I'll show you how to add a stopwatch effect in HitFilm. Here you see me slide on rollerblades for 4.3 seconds. And here's a jump in slow motion. I wrote a JavaScript to create a composite shot, which can be imported to HitFilm. Let's start with the parameters. If you are unsure about the duration, better make it a bit too long than too short. It's easy to trim it later in HitFilm. The speed can be left at 1. I only change this when I know beforehand exactly how much I've slowed down the footage. Otherwise it's easier to do this later in HitFilm. The font can be any font on your system. For example, I have installed a font called Disco and it will work in HitFilm, but only on my computer. If I send it to another computer without this font installed, HitFilm will fall back on the default font. Choose whether to include tenths of a second or not. If you have a very long duration, like a few minutes and tenths included, it will take a long time to import it to HitFilm. I tried with 125 seconds and it took several minutes to import. But once imported, all worked fine. Once you make the shot, you need to copy the code to a text editor. Save it as a HFCS file. That's short for HitFilm Composite Shot. In HitFilm, make sure you click the triangle next to Import and select Composite Shot. When added to the timeline, you might find that the end point in the video is not exactly at the end of the composite shot. Then just remove visibility as needed and drag the final count as shown. I recommend you always make the composite shot a bit on the long end. It's easy to trim it, while to extend it you'll need to generate a whole new composite shot. If you want a timer instead of a stopwatch, just add a time reverse effect. The tool itself is one HTML file. You can download it and adjust the code to serve your needs. I tested it on HitFilm 4 Express and have not experienced any issues. However, I can't guarantee it's, that it's bug free, so please keep this in mind. This was just a demonstration that it's possible to add text this way, and more advanced tools shall be possible, like converting a SRT subtitle file to a composite shot, or program text to fade in, fade out, you know, all kinds of ways. If you're interested in anything specific, please let me know. Contact details are on my webpage or you can contact me on the HitFilm forums.